eggs. We're inside. Should I take my hat off? What if they don't like capes? That's silly. Everyone loves capes. What if they're allergic to triumph? Please tell me this is my inside voice. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Just in my relaxed box. Ready to begin? Graham, you start. A magical genie offers you one of two very specific wishes. A, you can live one life that lasts 1,000 years. Or B, you can live 10 lives that last 100 years. Which do you choose? One hundred percent B. I agree. Think of all the lives you could lead. Explorer, artist, pirate, vampire. Or a ninja, or a zombie. Graham, a rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor, hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A, convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B, turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin. B, the orphan needs that money more than the merchant does. Hmm, I chose A. I figured that honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Graham? You have been hunting for your starving family all day, and only managed to catch a small goose. On your way back home, a hungry beggar offers you magic beans in return for the goose. The beggar tells you that the beanstalk sprouted from his beans will lead you to a chest that produces unlimited food. He would go after it himself, but his legs are too tired and old. Do you, A? Kindly reject the offer and bring your starving family their dinner? Or B, let the beggar eat the goose and plant the beans in your yard? I mean, magic beans. Yep, magic beans. Magic beans. You are a royal guard on the lookout for an evil sorcerer that has been terrorizing villagers. When you finally apprehend this sorcerer, you discover he is Charles, your childhood best friend. Do you A, tell Charles to leave town and never return? Or B, throw your friend in the castle dungeon? I pick B. Well, I disagree. Charles should be banished for the crimes he committed. But I couldn't imprison a friend. Niece? It says, You are the kingdom's wizard doctor. In the middle of the night, an honorable knight and despicable thief arrive at your door. The thief's injuries are much more severe than the knight's. Do you A, heal the knight first, or B, heal the thief first? I picked A. The Honorable Knight served our kingdom well, and he deserves to be healed. I picked B. I would honor my medical oath to serve those in need first. V. Oh, this is pretty on the nose. A man you've never met, but is known as a friendly king sends for your hand in marriage. Do you A, accept his invitation, trusting his reputation, or B, seek love on your own? Is there any other answer than B? Of course, I chose the same. Would you rather A, have a pet dragon, or B, be a dragon? A, definitely A. Yep, I could use a pet dragon. Our moat monster is looking to retire. Graham, 
You're poor, and a thief pickpockets your only coin, forcing you to go hungry for the night. A few days later, you see the same thief get robbed of his dinner by two bandits. You chase after the bandits and get back the stolen food. Do you A, return the food to the thief, or B, keep the food, teaching the thief a lesson? I'd eat the food. You said I was poor and hungry, right? That thief will be fine for one night without dinner. Hopefully he won't steal again. Same here. Gram? Your best friend is planning to marry the love of their life. On the day of the wedding, you discover that their fiancé is a gremlin, using a magic spell to disguise themselves as a human. The gremlin assures you it loves your friend and begs you to keep their secret. Do you A, tell your friend anyway, or B, keep their secret? B. I wouldn't want to ruin their special day. Nice. Me as well. It was a close game, but in the end, I won with Nice. She looked like she was holding in a victory dance. V looked upset. Not because of me, but because she hated to lose. When the sun went down, the air turned frigid. We decided it was too cold to play another game, and headed to bed. The walls of the tower were pretty thin, and embarrassing as it is to admit, that night I overheard the princesses talking about me. So what do you think of King Graham the Brave? I'm not sure about him yet. I'm not sure yet either. This seemed like the perfect time to explore the tower. I was interested in getting to know my new home better. <laughs> it was cold. All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes. And I didn't see any chocolate chips. It looked like the loot cracked in the tumble and was in need. This puzzle box busted in the fall and could use some fixing. Cold at the top of that tower. All I knew how to make was chocolate chip pancakes, and I didn't see any chocolate chips. Ooh. 
I wasn't ready for bed yet. There was still more to explore. It was cold at the top of that tower. Once upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come rescue her. The months turned to years, and no prince ever came to whisk her off to a happy ending. The witch grew bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order to increase her chances of being rescued. The enchanted canvas painted a younger portrait of whatever stood in front of it. Years of appearance-changing potions eventually took their toll and backfired, turning the princess into a soggy hag with a floppy tail. But the potion could be reversed, right? She could lose the tail and, and her skin would change back to normal. I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. Agatha took it too far. There was no coming back. <laughs> 